Good thing that's there. I just took a poop in the woods, but <laughs> I had no idea that there was a toilet up here because I'm not familiar with the area. Hello and welcome back everybody. Today we're out here on an adventure ride. It's a really cool day because I'm actually out here with my mom who's visiting town and she's going on a hike. Bye. I'm gonna flip the camera around and say hello to you good people. Hello, what's up? How you guys doing today? I'm doing fantastic. It's just an absolute gorgeous day. Feels like summer. I'm getting out on for a little adventure together but separately with my mother. And that's pretty cool. So yeah, today we're going to find there is an airstrip, like an actual huge long cement airstrip on the top of a mountain here in DuPont. And it's got a pretty interesting history that I'm gonna tell you guys about once we get up there. Uh, but it's also got a really cool trail off of it called Airstrip that I haven't ridden in like ages. So I'm really stoked to go see that. And we're gonna ride a couple other trails that I've never ridden in DuPont along the way, doing a completely different route. Oh yeah, did I mention? We're gonna see some waterfalls too. It's gonna be a great ride. So at the beginning of this ride, I parked in a parking lot that I've also never been to. It's called Fawn Lake. It's at the very, very south of DuPont State Forest. It's crazy sometimes to realize just how big DuPont really is. It's a humongous place and it's so awesome. So every now and then I like to come out and do what I just call like an exploratory ride. Am I even supposed to be here? I'll look at a map once I... Where am I going? How do, I, how do I carry you? Oh, someone told me this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone in the comments gave me a really good one. All right, so I grabbed the fork and I grabbed the pedal. This feels kind of like a workout, to be honest. I'm gonna hold it like this, just upside down. Trying new ways of portaging my bike. <sighs> All right. So like I said, the trail we're starting on is called Reason Over Creek. And the rest of this, I got no idea what to expect. All I know really is that it is just an immaculate day out here. Look at this field of ferns. Oh my gosh, it's so sick. I'm going down. Yahoo! Oh my gosh, the dirt is so good. Oh man, this is dreamy. I feel kind of good today. Hey guys, how gorgeous is it today? Oh my goodness, it's just me. Skip all these. This trail is so fun. I, I really didn't expect to have this much downhill out of the gate. Like I felt, I feel like I didn't climb that much, but this is superb. As long as I haven't taken a wrong turn. <laughs> I do know like I'm gonna be climbing because I gotta get up to the airstrip and the airstrip is on the top. Yes. Ah, love it. <laughs> Those hikers probably think I'm crazy. It's like, why is this guy talking to himself? I mean, they're not wrong. I am talking to myself, technically. Depends on how you look at it. I'm either talking to myself or I'm talking to like 30,000 people. Maybe 50, which is a very strange, it's always very weird to think about. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm oh, gonna oh, gap it. Oh gosh, that was almost bad. There was a root there. Oh, probably don't bomb that first time down. <laughs> Woo. What a spot this is, man. Oh my goodness. I'm bringing some friends out here to chill in the river this summer. I should make sure this, this is the right way. Screw it. Ow, 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 ow. Something's in my leg. What are you fighting me right now? What the sh- Get out of there. Oh, you f Ow! What was that bug? That's the deterrent for- That's why I get this place to myself is because so many people are afraid of interactions like that. That is a price I'm willing to pay. 
All right, we're continuing up and we're getting close to the airstrip. I wonder if I'll meet my mom there at the same time. That would be pretty funny. She's never seen this. She's never been. She's only been to DuPont one time. Dude, I just came out of the trail and look at this. What a picnic spot. Look at this. I'm going for it. This is not, I'm not like being, you know, I don't know, I'm just being me. This is how I get, I get excited about nature. This is so sick. Freaking butterfly flapping around. Just epic mountain lake. What the heck? How do I not come here more often and while I'm riding in DuPont? Okay, I have consulted the Oracle. I'm going down this way and then I'm looking for a hard left up to Camp Summit Road. I see a sign that says airstrip trail right here. So I know I'm going the right way. Wait, is this it? Is this the airstrip? I think this might be. I think this is the, it totally is. This is it. Look at this. This must, this is the hangar. Wow, this is so cool. This is so crazy. We're just up on this ridge. And man, it's so long. If you look, hold on, you'll see it, you'll see it. We're down at one end of it and this must be where the planes would turn around. And then look at how far, that's a long runway. So I was reading um, an article about what this was, how this came to be. And I guess it was actually the first use was in the 1960s, I think it was used for to like summer camps. It was like actually on the flight maps and everything, but eventually it, uh, it got sold to like DuPont and used for a bit. And then there was a tragic accident where someone ran their car. Someone was intoxicated or on drugs or something and like ran their car off of the top here and died. And they started getting worried about like illegal drug traffic, trafficking using this airstrip to like land, drop stuff and take off. And so they took it off of all of the maps, all the FAA stuff and uh, decommissioned it. And um, I think it's just been used for some random, um, random stuff. Like I know for a fact that it's been used for filming movies out here, like the Hunger Games, some scenes from the Hunger Games were filmed here in DuPont State Forest and they would use this runway to fly in uh, some filming equipment and you know, probably actors and stuff. It's just a really, I think it's really interesting um, little landmark out here. And now there's the freaking mountain bike trail off of it, which is even cooler. We're definitely up high. Cool, cool view. Oh, there's no way I'm standing up on that. If you wanted to work on some uh, parking lot jibs, this is a fantastic place for it. While I'm up here on the runway practicing my parking lot jibs, let me take a minute to tell you a little bit about the sponsor of today's video, Element. And for those of you guys that deal with cramps and headaches while out on rides, you're gonna wanna pay attention. Element is a tasty electrolyte drink mixed with everything you need and nothing you don't. They have no sugar, no coloring, no artificial ingredients, no gluten, no BS. Right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. So far this riding season, I have been religious about drinking my Element with every ride. And especially today, I think it kind of saved my butt. As you'll see a little bit later, I ended up doing a lot more climbing than I expected. I'm just out in the woods for a lot longer than I thought. And I kind of at one point even say that I feel, I felt like this is where I normally would be cramping, but I didn't. And I got to think that a lot of that is thanks to my electrolyte replenishment, thanks to Element. The absolute best part is that Element offers a no questions asked refund on your product if you didn't like it. You got absolutely no reason not to try it. So what are you waiting for? Do yourself a favor by keeping your electrolytes replenished this summer while also supporting a company that supports this channel. Once again, this offer is only available through my link specifically. So head on down in the description if you're interested and click that link or just head straight to Drink Element elementt.com forward slash sampler to get yours today. Thank you again to Element for sponsoring today's video and 
Now, let's get back to the ride. So close. I'm pretty sure that's my mom. Let's go say hey. Hello there. This is my mom. I don't know if you've ever been in any clip. <laughs> say hello. <laughs> my mom's an avid hiker, so we get outside together and it's awesome. She can walk further than I can ride. <laughs> yeah, isn't this cool? Oh, it's just beautiful. Have fun. I will. My mom came back up to help me get a thumb and she nailed it. <laughs> Thanks again. Enjoy the rest of your hike. Adios. <laughs> We're going down. I wonder if this trail is gonna is as fun as I remember. We're about to find out. Whoa! So far, so good. Really good berms. Oh yeah, this is great. Oh gosh! <laughs> you know what's crazy? I went and I looked at this on Trail Forks. This trail, and the picture for this trail is a picture of me. <laughs> that was so funny, and not even from like a YouTube video or anything. From way back. The only time I've ridden this, before I was doing anything on the internet, it was just a cool photo that one of my friends grabbed of me hitting a jump at the bottom here. Probably one of my first jumps ever. Oh yeah, this is fun. Fast. Little difficult section right there. Just making sure you navigate it right, going that speed. Here we go. Man, some cool little options. Oh yeah, ripping section right there. What is this, little rock, oh gosh. <laughs> I don't think that's meant for this way. I think that's something to play with on the way up. This is sick, I like this. Trail's longer than I remember. Now, <laughs> I just as I say it. <sighs> oh, I gotta try that. Yeah, there used to be like a little jump right here. Looks like it's gone. Big log ride instead. Oh god. First try. Okay. That was very enjoyable. What a cool trail. Score. Love it when a trail lives up to the memory. Let's go find some more trails that I haven't ridden in forever. All right. Next up on the adventure checklist is we're looking for a waterfall. It's a little out and back, but not only do I want to see it, but I need water and <laughs> bug. <coughs> oh gosh, I need water <coughs> and I have a filter. I'm going to show you guys it. Oh, it's the falls. Oh, cool. Dang. Holy smokes. It's huge bigger than I remember. Wow, look at that. That is sweet. Oh my gosh, check this out guys. I'm so happy I came down here. Ta-da! Boom! I'm going in, I'm going further. All right, well, that was a little bit of a fail, I'm not gonna lie. I got down to the, there to the waterfall thing. I could fill up my empty water bottle. I have two water bottles that I keep on my bike frame, which is just so cool that I can do that. But sometimes I forget, you know, I know a lot of you guys are newer to mountain biking and I really try to keep that in mind. So I like to, like when I think of the tips to share, I try to make a point of doing it. And today I wanted to show you how I get away without, I like, I do my best to have nothing on my back or my hip anymore. I used to carry a giant backpack and one of the ways I can do that is this cool filter. So this is the filter that I use. It's called the Be Free 
by Katadyne. This is a popular backpacking brand. And the reason I like it is because it's a collapsible bottle. So the filter is up here. This is it, this is the filter. And then this is just a, a tiny bottle, you know? So like, not only can it serve as a extra water bottle, so you can fill this up and then drink it on the climb, but you know, or you can just fill up your bottle and then just tuck this back in your pocket, which is what I like about it. What I forgot to do was check this before I came out today, because this is definitely old. And what is inside here are a bunch of, I don't know, fibrous things, but they're supposed to be movable and like flexible. And listen, whatever's happened to it over time, it's, it's solid now and no water is actually getting through anymore. So. This has lasted me years. It's time to go get a new one. It either froze or it just got old, one or the other. But yeah, definitely love this. Just I just toss it right in this vertical zipper in my cognitive MTB shorts. Boom. Also, we're in the sampler jersey today and it is nice in the hot days. It feels so good. Check these out on cognitivemtb.com if you haven't seen them already. These are my new short sleeve jerseys, which it is time for them. Summer is upon us. All right, let's go ride more. One last quick tidbit for, I'll get my wallet out of the way. For all you camera guys out there, this is the little thing that I have with me. It's actually a really handy little stand. All these flexible legs, and then you just put your camera right in this thing. And then this is great because I can just attach it to my saddle. I attach it to uh, trees often. Very handy little piece of equipment. But yeah, I'll try to find a link to this. I think it's Joby. No, it's not Joby, sorry. It's, let me see here. It ought to say on here. It is that brand. Boom, Photo Pro. I'll try to put an Amazon link for any of you camera guys interested. I know you're out there. All right, now for real, let's go ride. All right. We are back in the saddle. Click clack. Something is, I think it's my, I want to say my pedals or my bottom bracket. They're just clicking. So I'm excited now because we're gonna follow this Cornmill Shoals to one of the best downhills in the park, Burnt Mountain. Cool trail. Some good rock. This is another one of those slices of trail back in here I just don't ride. I don't know any of this. Skirt! Oh, is this the river crossing? Oh no, do I have to do the, I haven't been over here in ages. I just know this is where everyone eats it. Maybe I go up there. Maybe I think the creek is that way. Maybe I take a left. No such luck. Well, for me, you guys are in luck because <laughs> I got to go to this creek. I don't know if I should try to ride across it. I don't think I've ever seen any of my friends make it across it pedaling. The rock is just like that insanely uh, slick rock and it just gets everybody. Oh boy. Kind of sketchy just getting down. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's like the most insane slick. Are we going for it? Oh no, I think I am. I'm totally busting. I'm busting my butt. The things I do for y'all. Just commit. Oh God. Oh, instantly, instant regret. No, my bike. Oh. Come back. No. That stuff is so slick. That's exactly how I remember it. Oh my gosh, my phone and everything. <laughs> I'm soaked. I almost lost my entire bike down this thing. It was, it was like, that was, if it went any further, it was just gone. And this is one of those times where I remind you guys that watch, especially you young guys that watch the channel, don't do what I do. I, I take stupid risks that you should not take. I don't know why but I'm not a good example. Don't be like me. No, I broke my phone. That's such a bummer. I can see it behind the case. Ah, oh, that stinks. All right, that's a bummer to find out, but whatever, what can I do now? I don't have insurance on it either. I'm an, I'm an idiot. 
Oh my gosh, that that's so ridiculous. I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> Honestly, I can. I say that, but let's be honest. I can totally believe that just happened. That's very standard sampler fare. Hey, I think that creek stopped after I dropped my bike in the river. Just now realizing. Well, we have a couple other new noises though, but. <laughs> I was just thinking a kind of funny thought. <laughs> I kind of feel bad for my mom because she like came, she came all the way back up to the airstrip to help me get that thumbnail. But then I went and did something really dumb and uh, fell in in the river and almost lost my bike down the river. And like inevitably that's gonna be the thumbnail now. But uh, like we had such a good one already. <laughs> Sorry, mom. I still appreciate it. All right, I think we're here. This is where you drop into burnt. Sweet. Okay. Coming up on the crazy bits. Did I go high here? Oh gosh, I do. I don't know if I've ever actually done that. Some drops here, that's cool. Chunky bit. Okay. Here comes like the shoot area. That can be very intimidating. I've never found like the line in here. Let's see if I can just kind of sight line it today. I know I normally like coming in like the high left. So far right, far left. Yeah. Pretty great condition today. Real choppy in here now. Holy. Just off of that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that run out right here is always tricky. Well, that's about as good as I've ever gotten it. I'll tell you what, that section ain't, ain't no joke. There are so many spots that will get your tire hung up. And that's it, that's, that's burnt mount for you. We're right back to the creek crossing. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Yes, I gotta go back to the creek crossing, guys. All right. Round two, what do you think, guys? I don't think I'm going back in. I don't think I'm trying again. Like, I can't tell you how, I, for anyone that's not tried, that is the slickest thing. I am not, I'm very uncertain that I'll be able to walk across this without falling. I'll tell you what, this right here feels feels doable. I think I was way up here. I think this is like the crazy. Dude, I'm already soaking, I'm trying it again. But I'm gonna take off all take out all my stuff. Screw it. Oh my gosh, that entry. Okay, I think I know the slickest spots. I'm doing this. I got this. Alright. Take two. I think I know where I gotta go. I need to not be way up there. I just gotta commit. Who knows? Oh, I'm gonna do it! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do it! <laughs> See if I can get it back. I knew I could do it. I know the line now. I bet I could do it any day. Nice. Man, I knew I could do that. I knew it. Just for anyone that's going to, well, never mind. I'm not giving advice on how to do that. You probably shouldn't try it. But I knew I could do it. I just needed to have that self-confidence, baby. Oh, all it cost me was my iPhone. That's a little bit of a bummer. Probably not a bad time to thank the sponsor of today's video again element <sighs> that will go straight to buying the new phone so yeah thank you guys stoked to be working with you again <laughs> my dropper post is working so much better since dropping in the bike in the river <sighs> i'm not even gonna lie 
I don't think it's something I'd recommend, but ooh, looking for the silver lining, you know, smash phone, but gave me an opportunity for redemption. Also service my driver post. <laughs> oh, the mechanics just cringed. <laughs> Another one of those don't do what I do things. I can't stress this enough to all the people that watch my channel. Don't do what I do. Watch my videos for sure. Definitely do that. But yo, don't do what I do. I'm a kook out here doing dumb stuff on his bike. So maybe watch me for entertainment and Go watch someone else for a role model. I'm not, I don't think I'm that. Anyway, <laughs> definitely keep watching though. In fact, if you're still here watching, thank you. If you're making it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, definitely go do that. If that's a thing you do on YouTube, I upload every week. Oh, anything from travel vids to fun bike ride adventures and I don't know we're gonna be taking some pretty cool trips uh, in the future in the later in this year that I am very excited about and I think you guys will be too so you won't want to miss those but this this is what we do best right here rip the single track so what do you say we do that oh Oh yeah, we're hitting this jump. Remember that one? Oh gosh, nose heavy. Gap this. Oh my gosh. Dude, what a fun section this is. I gotta be aware that there could be a hiker down here. So, I'm ready to stop in an instant. Gap. Oh gosh. Oh, this is that cool rock section. Oh my goodness. Man. That was really fun. I honestly don't know if I've ever, ever ridden that on my bike. Oh, dude. What a great day this has turned out to be. My mom's gonna laugh her butt off when she hears about what happened <coughs> and sees the footage. And, and, and like, if I'm being perfectly honest with you guys, that is something I do with or without the camera every time. I'd ride my, I try to ride my bike across that river 100% of the times. That is not like, you guys know me. I don't, I don't do stuff just for the camera. I'm like still very cautious and not doing stuff just because I want to put it on camera. Nah, I do stuff only if I want, actually want to. And, uh, yeah, that is an actual want. I do that 100% of the time. I try to ride my bike across that like a fool because I think it's fun. No, 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 no. No, I went the wrong way. No, I have to go all the way up that whole downhill. Sad, sad, sad days. This awesome section I was just raving about coming down. I wasn't supposed to even come down it. Ah. Okay. All right, no biggie. Oh God, why? Nothing like another, just an extra 500 vert tacked on to your ride. It's okay. I'm not gonna cry, you're gonna cry. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, the trail goes up. Oh no. What do you know, the battery's on the go for a run and beep. What do you know? The turn I was supposed to take was all the way at the top. No way. All right, last leg. We are almost there, fam. We're going up Cart Mountain. Take another trail I've never been on before. To the right. I'm gonna double check. I'm not, I'm now I'm paranoid about going the wrong way. <laughs> Cause like going the wrong way would just be like, tragic for me right this second i just i would i would not be stoked about the uh, misadventure anymore <laughs> i've had enough adventure this is good 
Yep, yep. All right, we're good now. <laughs> Keep this up. Yahoo! This is how I like to end my rides. I think we made it. I think this is where I took a, <laughs> a in the woods earlier. Oh my goodness, we did it. We're back. <laughs> so my mom is here. There she is. Probably getting worried about me. You worried? <laughs> Quite a bit later. Though. I took a couple wrong turns. I may have fallen in a river once or twice. Are you okay? Yeah. I broke my phone though. Eye roll. Yeah, that was. Five, how long have you been here? Since four. Oh, geez. Four. Sorry. I no, thought you were going to sit in the car. I did. Okay. I did. I did. Let's go get. Yeah, I'm I so did. thirsty. Let's go get one of those LaCroix. All right. What an adventure. If you're still here, thanks. Thank you. Thank you for being here watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I am pretty much dead. Uh, so I don't know. I don't think I can uh, do much talking, nor do I feel like there's much reason anymore because all the fun. We did it. We did the thing. So I guess all that's left to say is thanks for watching. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one very, very soon. But until then, you know what to do. Live free, ride hard, and Man, I need a cold drink. All right, peace. Oh. That was just like particularly slick creek crossing, river crossing that uh, everyone knows about. Yeah. Everyone has tried at least once. I've tried it and I've fallen and slid before. I just haven't done it in a while. So I, I gave it another try today and it didn't work. <laughs> but then it did. <laughs>